Good morning, guys. It's not timber frame this morning. It's Saturday. I'm on call. Get pulled off the project. Makes me happy every time. But uh, don't worry. When I get home, we're going to be working on some more barn stuff. We got a lot of milling to do this weekend. But anyway, thought maybe some of you guys uh, might be curious as to uh, what we're doing uh, when I'm at work, when I'm not on the barn. And uh, so we'll do a quick one at some of the stuff I work on. We're gonna, I'm going to take in, I'm going to show you a, a refrigeration rack that I work on quite a bit. And uh, a lot of you may not be interested, but I thought it might be fun just to share what we're doing. So here we go. So welcome to the world of supermarket refrigeration. Boy, is it good stuff. So this is what I do all day at work. You know, I uh, work on this stuff, I work on boilers, chillers, things like that, all the way down to walk-in coolers, small refrigeration, but uh, this is, if any of you guys have ever been into a Walmart, this, this is the, uh, this is what runs all your coolers and your freezers in there. You know, every Walmart's pretty well cookie cutter, so they're kind of easy to work on. You know, that right there, this is a low temp rack, so it's serving freezers. That's all your defrost stuff. Everything's fused, it's all 480 volt. And toggle switches for everything. It's kind of neat. I've been doing this kind of work for, you know, on the mechanicals, close to uh, 14 to 15 years, somewhere in there. On top of uh, everything I do as a hobby. Now, I was debating on making this video, you know, I kind of, I kind of hate bringing my work into the channel. Because, geez, I don't know, it just kind of depresses me a little bit sometimes, you know. Uh, it's good work. You make a good living doing it. And if any of you guys are looking to get into the trades, this is a really good one to get into. It'll wreck your mind a little bit, you know, you're... You spend the whole day problem solving for everybody else and you get home and if you have trouble solving your own because this is the kind of job that demands a lot of your attention. And you got your phase monitor in there that protects if you have a voltage incident, which we've had one at some point here. In the store, the power going into it's pretty dirty, so they get a lot of rolling brownouts here. But this rack runs about 480 volt going into it. See that right there in the phase monitor? And those purple wires on there, and that reads, the little phase monitor reads all the, uh, the three phase voltage going into it. Then you get into this cabinet and you have your circuit breakers for your compressors there. And there's three of them for this rack. And your contactors. And you have some more right there. But they're kind of neat. Kind of neat to work on. Uh, the racks and stuff I've been working on for about 10 years. This is a Hill Phoenix rack. The schematics are pretty simple on it. Pretty easy to work on. You know, I'll walk you around a little bit more in a rack house. And that's all our circuit board labeling with all our uh, little relays where you see the red lights are. Let's see, what do we have down here? Ah. Blue canister right there. That's your oil reservoir. These compressors use oil all the time. You have to constantly recycle it. That black cylinder pulls the oil off the discharge gas and sends it to the compressors. It's kind of neat. A system like this, it uses hot gas, which is, you know, what your condensers cool down, turns it back into a liquid, but they use hot gas here to generate their hot water for the store kind of a neat setup. It's a good way of using it. I mean, otherwise you're just blasting all that heat energy out into the air and not really, uh, not doing anything. This rack house is messy, just like my, just like my place. Oh, frequency drive. We get into a lot of those nowadays. So they use these frequency drives here to run the condensing fan motors. That's how they control head pressure. So you're ramping those motors up and down all the time. It works pretty neat. You know, I can adjust, I can put that frequency drive in manual mode. And then I can ramp those fans up and down anywhere I want them. So what they do, how they work it here, 
is they will use a, they'll use a pressure sensor on the rack. It's called a transducer that'll translate that head pressure or any pressure into an electrical signal and they'll send that back into this frequency drive and that determines how fast they're going to ramp the fans up. So you got another rack in here. There's four racks at this store all told. So this is a medium temperature rack. You see there's no fans on top of it because the compression ratios are not as high on this as they would be on a low temp rack. So these are your refrigeration lines that run out into the store. You have electronic pressure regulating valves. That's what those are. The now we're moving kind of quick through here. Oh, the infamous rack controller. I'll tell you what I like about Walmart. They only allow you to put these things in a manual defrost and look at your temperatures. So this was the case that I had a problem with. I'm pulling it out of defrost because I left it in long enough to de-ice it. And it has electric defrost on those. And that controller can be a real pain in the ass to deal with, but... What do you do? It's kind of neat, these controllers on these rack systems now, and this is kind of an older setup here. It's actually quite outdated for what it is. But you could pretty well see what everything in the system's doing. All your pressures, all the loads, what our frequency drive's doing, the set points and all that good stuff. Of course, like I said, Walmart being Walmart, they we're up here in cold country and they got some guy in Alabama or Texas deciding how it all runs, which is kind of funny to me. It's like our military base up here. They used to hire contractors out of Virginia to build all the houses and they'd put all the plumbing in the cold space up in the attic, which is fine where they live, you know, but doesn't quite work out up here. Now, as you can see, all kinds of bells and whistles on this thing. And you've got exhaust fans in the rack house that keep it cool in the summer. Yeah. Gotta love the rack controllers. But, anyway, that's what we do, that's what we have. So, if you guys like this, I can do more of these. Like I said, uh, more than willing to do more of them if you guys like this stuff too. So let me know in the comments what you think. So thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.